This is a program that highlights people and organizations having an impact in our city. Today we will hear from Sarah Vogel on the journey of pursuing her dream. Welcome to Join the City True Stories. I'm Bethany Marshall and you're about to see what God is doing in our city. Clay Cup, which is a specialty coffee shop and pottery studio in downtown Altoona. Sarah is a self-motivated, creative entrepreneur. She tells us about how this dream concept began. The Clay Cup was something that I had kind of dreamt up in high school, and I never really thought that it was something that would actually come to fruition. But in high school, I knew that I wanted to pursue art somehow, but I didn't really know how I was going to make it into something that I could live off of. And I think there was a lot of doubt surrounding that from teachers and family and things like that too. So I was just kind of brainstorming one day because we were writing a career report in an English class that I was in. And I was like, how can I make a career out of art? And the idea of coffee and art came to mind because coffee is something that people gather around, it brings a community together, it brings people in. And I was like, well, if I can get people to a place where the art, where the art already exists or where they can experience the art, then that's key. So that's kind of where the idea was born back in high school. And it's been quite a journey to get here and a lot of different experiences, but it's been really cool. Often people talk about the challenges in developing a dream. Sarah takes us step by step as she shares the process to accomplish something like this. I feel like the Lord led my footsteps in a lot of ways without me even realizing it. I've had a lot of different jobs that had nothing to do with coffee or art leading up to this that prepared me in some way for what I do now. And if I hadn't had those experiences, although they didn't seem to point in this direction, I think that I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here now. So I, I dropped out of college after doing four semesters because I realized that although I was a studio art major with a business minor, everything I really wanted to do, I didn't need a degree, I didn't need $60,000 of debt, and I could study under somebody or teach myself to, to get to where I wanted to be. And at that point, I didn't even know where I wanted to be. I mean, I had had the idea in high school, but I wasn't even sure. I was young and, you know. So after dropping out of college, I started um, second shooting as a photographer. And I kind of took that and ran. And that was kind of my creative outlet at the time. Um, just do, I started photographing weddings and senior pictures. And I had always been an artist growing up. It's kind of in my family. And I didn't really take it seriously until after high school. Um, but the photography at that time was my creative outlet. And one thing led to the next from job to job, just building relationships and taking opportunities on a whim. Um, I had a job that took me to West Palm Beach for a couple months and you know the experiences that I learned there and that's actually where I learned about the art classes that I ended up teaching. Sarah has been a part of a few of our stories in the past where she has given insight to youth culture about opportunities for developing a business here in our local area. First of all I think that is a big misconception that people think they need to move away first or stay away and then come back. Um, I stayed in this area because there are so many resources right here and there are so many educated people and knowledgeable people in their field here. And when you learn to network that and, and kind of lever that, then you have everything you need right here, plus family, plus community. So it's a win, win, win. I think the community here is outstanding and ex extremely supportive of locals staying in this area. They want to see that. So when they see it, they're gonna support it and they're gonna back it 110%. And I've seen that in both businesses, especially the Clay Cup because of its being located in downtown Altoona and people wanting to see that be revitalized. Continuing our conversation, she reveals what is necessary to make your dream come to fruition. I think 
the joy is in the journey, first of all, and that's not my quote. I'm not sure who said that quote, but I don't think my dream is, is fully here yet. There's so much more that I want to do and so much more that I want to establish and build off of this um, that I can't say that I'm quite there yet. But I'm in the, like, I'm building the dream. It's, it's a process. I don't, I don't think you should ever just settle and say, I'm here, it's finished, I'm done. I've achieved what I want to achieve. I think that we should be lifelong learners and I think that there should always be a next. And I think thinking that way is what keeps us open to opportunities and doors that open that the Lord provides for us. I think a lot of it has been a faith journey for sure and just learning how to lean on the Lord when you know that he's promised something to you and it doesn't feel like it's actually going to happen. Um, I think that's a huge part of it. Finances are always a huge part of it. Um, but I mean, going into the process of actually opening the clay cup, from my perspective, I was a college dropout, inexperienced 25-year-old girl that's walking into the office of the gentleman that owns 90% of downtown Altoona asking him for one of his buildings and thinking that he's going to look at me and say, why would, why would I work out an agreement with you? You know, you're 25. And so much favor has been shown to me through every single step that it, there's no other explanation except that the Lord was opening every door and literally moving mountains in front of my eyes. The local community has become very familiar with Sarah's watercolor artwork, but recently TJ Maxx and Marshalls purchased some of her prints to be featured on pillows, 9,000 to be exact, to be sold in stores all over the country. Governor Tom Wolf visited Sarah at the Clay Cup as part of a city revitalization tour. Closing out our conversation, we asked Sarah to give some advice to others pursuing their dream. I, for anyone, no matter what you're pursuing as an entrepreneur, and I've, I've given this advice to a lot of different people, I think we often feel the pressure to be professionals in every single area of what we're doing you find those people that are professionals at what they do for a reason so that you can be amazing at what you do and your hands aren't in a hundred different places. Um, so I, I just kind of learned to network and, and figure that out and I call it the triad, the banker, the attorney, and the accountant <laughs> um, so that I can do the art and make the coffee and lead the team that I have here. For those of you who are in the early stages of your journey, we summarize three practical points in pursuing your dream. Number one, I've had a lot of different jobs that had nothing to do with coffee or art leading up to this that prepared me in some way for what I do now. And if I hadn't had those experiences, although they didn't seem to point in this direction, I think that I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here now. Number two. I think a lot of it has been a faith journey, for sure, and just learning how to lean on the Lord when you know that He's promised something to you and it doesn't feel like it's actually going to happen. And Number to three. Be a banker, you find those people that are professionals at what they do for a reason so that you can be amazing at what you do and your hands aren't in a hundred different places. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for watching Join the City True Stories. Join us next week as we highlight another person or organization having an impact in our city. Be encouraged because God is moving in our city. God is on the move.